the next report. Who will report? Mr. Adrov or Mr. Zusev? Okay. Then, Mr. Zusev, you have the floor. This is the managing director of STT Group. Ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Grigory Zusev. I'm the managing director of STT Group. I will speak today in accordance with the agenda, the automatic processing of remote sensing data. Our company has been an active player in this field, and we own two projects which are ongoing projects and uh, have they have delivered first results of introduction already. Yet the main context of today's presentation will gravitate towards uh, introduction of our company as long as we are among the sponsors of today's uh, of this conference and uh, with the support from Rutgers company we'll have two reports uh, first one will be introductory report the second one about the technical components of our project I must inform you that ST group company is a Russian systemic integrator the company working in the ICT sector and uh, on the market of geospatial information resources, uh, we are a recent player. The basic qualification for us is the establishment of specialized uh, data processing centers and establishment of territorially distributed uh, data storage systems and the establishment of multi-user decision-making systems. Three years ago, our system came to the market and started working with geospatial information resource. And uh, we have launched a project on the establishment of a large multi-user specialized geospatial data processing center. Using this project as a vehicle and uh, through the works on uh, geodata bank establishment and uh, dissemination of data and uh, and design and establishment of geo-informational systems, we have concentrated our attention on the issues of transition from uh, motorized to fully automatic systems of uh, uh, geospatial data processing. I must tell you now that we have been working with the federal executive authorities of Russia with different companies which are part of that state system with different users of geospatial data. And uh, on the one hand, we are in close cooperation with the suppliers of geospatial resources and data. And on the other hand, we are servicing the needs of end users in terms of establishment of multi-user systems and the production of specialized services, of course. That is why, to a certain extent, we assume the role or the right to come to a conclusion that a full algorithm of uh, data processing is that prospect or future technology which will help us to meet the ever-growing demands of users in a thematic geospatial information in order to build the required services for them. Within the framework of this conclusion, some time ago, the company launched two projects. Again, they are genetically linked to our original qualification, to the qualification on establishment of distributed uh, high-performance uh, data processing means with uh, computing clusters, with uh, parallel data processing systems. And also, we were qualified in establishing data storage systems, meeting all the necessary requirements on package resistance and uh, building the multi-user 
bus of data and a number of other specific specifics which we were professionally focusing on. In this way, we launched two projects, and uh, the first one of them that I would like to speak in greater detail about is the project on the establishment of an automatic system of auto photo mosaic construction. This project was launched jointly with the Rockers company, and at the moment it is in the active phase of implementation. We have already acquired first output, and uh, first testing has been completed and uh, some introduction done. Although we do not consider it as a completed project, it's still ongoing. I'm not going to repeat what uh, other people in previous reports said, not even at this conference, at uh, ISPRS and other conferences, which were made by Viktor Androv. I will just say that this complex, this complex has two types of in implementations, which uh, one of them allows to process the input data as input data, we use now the data from Digital Globe, QuickBird, Worldview 1 and 2, and uh, standard SRTM. As an output, our complex in fully automatic mode builds ortho photo mosaics with the performance rate, which was fully supported by the testing at the Kazakh University cluster in different modes. Anyway, more than 1 million square kilometers per day. The second line of activity within this project is the building of a software and a hardware complex. In other words, the development of a special hardware platform. We also realize that this platform will have the whole line or range of options. With some rounded characteristics. At the moment, the prototype of a specialized hardware is in place and is being tested at the moment. This project already has been implemented to a certain extent on the basis of a highly distributed uh, data processing center at one of the enterprises of the Russian sp aerospace industry. The complex is has been installed, is operational, and provides us with quite commendable results. The second line of our work related to the building of automated means of uh, geospatial data processing is the work on design and uh, building of the automatic georeferencing complex. This work had been launched within the framework of the establishment of the space system Canobis V, and uh, it was Vneem Corporation who placed them on order with our company. And uh, a little later, you will hear the report of the chief designer about the system, and he will supply all the necessary technical details about it. Now, suffice to say that uh, the design system, the design system is performing Again, in a fully automatic mode, a geo correction of the acquired images based on the comparison with the high precision uh, geo referenced or ground control point uh, based images, uh, which uh, creates all the necessary prerequisites. Uh, to make sure that aside from the enhanced precision, we can contribute to the commercialization of the images acquired from uh, this spacecraft by involving into the process the secondary processing stage, and by involving into the secondary processing stage other players by contributing um, more higher quality information. and. Uh, uh, corrected RPC coefficients. This project is ongoing, 
and uh, at the moment the Cannabis V system is being flight tested and the first but first data had already been acquired and on this picture I'm illustrating what I've just said you can see the results of georeferencing here in that regard I'd like to focus your attention on the following that the work related to the transition from automated systems of and methods of processing of geospatial data and to the use and application of fully automatic algorithms is the way is a long term road of course you shouldn't perceive it perceive it as already completed project of full automation these are the results which are perceived as an ideal method of supply of information resource to the end user. Naturally, there are certain restrictions which at this moment in time in the development of this uh, technological progress we have to live with. Yet, our company is still focusing on this work, and uh, we expect to launch other projects on fully on the establishment of build, designing fully automated algorithms, and will welcome any kind of uh, party who will be wishing to cooperate with us on this. Thank you for your attention. The second report will be dedicated to the complex of automatic georeferencing. If you have any questions, wait a second. If you have any questions about the joint project with the Rockhorse company, I expect that would be more polite to give the floor to Viktor Adrov to answer such questions. Thank you. You have a question. Did I understand you correctly that we're talking only about satellite imagery here? Well, the algorithms and methods that we had applied throughout the process of designing the complex of georeferencing when finding the uh, and comparing the similarities in the zones, in fact, we do not think that uh, the input material could only be satellite imagery. In fact, those algorithms had been developed by our specialists who originally came from the digital television area and uh, who have experience of building and uh, of processing the digital content of television. And the frames are changed uh, with certain frequency and the price of the live airtime could be thousands of dollars. That is why, by answering your question, I think that the specific product that we are offering is designed for satellite imageries, but these algorithms theoretically can also be applied not only to space-borne imagery. What about CMR? Or do you mean that CMR is there already? Now we are talking about the joint Rockers project, right? I apologize. I start answering uh, uh, your question based on the georeference. As I understand, this about a photo mode conveyor. This system of automatic building, which uh, can do more than one million square kilometers per day on cluster computer, it has such a performance owing to the fact that uh, it is fully oriented to doing only one task. It is processing only space-borne data. You uh, saw Photomos as Photomos mod scanner, only uh, space-borne scanning images. And in the input, we use any space images which can be processed, which have RPC coefficients. In the single project, you can launch GOI uh, and other satellites. But the main uh, rec uh, 
but they will uh, perform only one task there. This is a scanner-based thing. Now we are developing a new project, again, a cluster-based solution, again, single button-pushing solution. And uh, we are going to process the data from UAVs. And this high performance rate is based on the fact that there is no flexibility like in a standard photo mode. It is a single task oriented thing. And, and we'll have CM, CMR at the input. Again, another uh, line of development. It will be the same single button or push uh, control, and uh, that's what we need in Russia. CMR is extracted either from the existing CMR or from the well-known systems or from, we take NASA CMR. We expect that a CMR exists or either CMRs which exist in uh, the files of the Russian companies. No, CMR, the final scales will be 10 and 25,000. Victor uh, Adrov, maybe we can let our speaker go. Okay, thank you for your attention, uh, and I'm looking forward to our future cooperation.